Hello and welcome to the final video for Libra Sonatini. This is the ending. We're checking out this, a lot of that, and this. So let's just dive straight into Libra Sonatini and work on movement in Bioradians. Welcome to this first micro study. To end this piece, Dians plays cross string scale E, F sharp, G. A at the 7th fret, open B, C sharp. Fantastic idea. Right hand is going to be I, M, A, P, M, I. This is different to what Dian's has. Dian's has P, P, I, M, P, M, I. Right, once you've done that, we get into the Gliss or Heartbeat section, as it were. Now, I play Gliss down, but it is possible to. That is gonna be your choice as to whether or not you feel it's an up Gliss, or a down Gliss. I prefer the down gliss, it's just that simple. So anyway, from a gliss point of view, the right hand is thumb. Add the glissing. So you're glissing while doing MI on your two fingers there. So if we put this all together, this idea as a whole repeats twice. Get a handle on that and then we will move into the extension of that idea. Welcome to the second micro study. So we're diving straight in. Cross string scale. And then we have D. C, B, E, D, C, D, C, B. With the gliss and all the rest back in, it looks like. And then we're back into the beginning idea again. And then we have the concluding phrase, as it were, in the next micro study. Welcome to micro study number three. Scale. D, C, D, E, D, C sharp, F sharp. Finally, 12th fret, G, F sharp, E, before we're into the percussion section. So I would suggest, and, and this goes for all of them that you've just done now, that you first get used to Finally, and then we're into the percussion. A couple of top tips here you notice in this angle, I am really perpendicular to that string. I'm not doing this because that B needs to ring out. Second thing, I am lasering ahead. As soon as I laser, 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 boom. So eyes behind, eyes behind, eyes ahead, eyes behind, eyes behind, eyes ahead, eyes behind, eyes behind, eyes ahead. So I am always lasering into the position that I'm changing all together. And then we're in. Welcome 
to the final micro study. Welcome to the percussion. This is the fantastic bit. This is the whole point of learning this entire piece so that you can just whip this out at parties. Couple of things. First thing, Bartok pizzicato. It is a snap off, a snap of the string off. And you can see how high I'm pulling it in this and there and letting it snap back. Bartok pizzicato. The funky bass player that you need here. Can you see my thumb? The string is hitting here on my thumb, rotation in the wrist, and I'm not doing this. Tap bounce, string bounces back. That's what you're doing because this entire section is a bass player and a drummer together. Okay, so I'm gonna do Bartok Pits, hammer on. Gotta really laser that to get it. Put your first finger down behind that. Now, the percussion, I karate chop, Dion's wants a fist. Your choice. Then, I use E, M, and A, down and thumb up. For those strikes, Dion's does M. Your call. Cool. Then, there is a pull off. Three to one, and then we have. That is the idea, that idea gets squished together, played fluid motion, and repeated three times. So here we go. Practice that slow first, get all the motions together, and get it nice and super clean. All right, we'll have a look what happens at the end of this phrase. Welcome to the second half of this phrase. So, once you've done the percussion idea three times, on the third time, it is gonna be slap, hammer on, slap, one, three, slap, hammer on, one, three. Back into. So, that entire idea. Repeats twice. On the third time, we do the percussion idea twice. Percussion, down, percussion, and then we're into the next micro study. Practice it slowly. I can't stress this enough. It took me ages to get. And that was a lot of slow practice before I could. And yes, you need to slap your guitar. Welcome to the end. We have some more percussion. So, Dian's has right hand and left hand separated, one playing on top, one playing on the side, on the frame with the nail. That is Dian's is original. I actually do slap on my fretboard because of what comes after this idea. So, it's semi-quavers or straight rhythm, but you're doing a offbeat tango pattern in essence. So here we go. Right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, together. So we have, that's the first idea. And then right, left, right, left, right, left, together. That is where your right hand has to get up to, to make that sound across all six strings outside the guitar. So that is a phrase all on its own. And notice, obviously my camera is making this really heavy. I'm actually gripping my fretboard here to make sure that it doesn't slip because your right hand has come off the bow to the guitar and it's going to do that. So you don't want that. And then final bit is a series of Bartok pits. This time it's G to A, F sharp to G. Now, I play, and I have a little fun with that last note. I don't play a full Bartox pit, but a Dean's does it the opposite way. He wants it SFZ, sforzando, so really, really, really loud. Ultimately, that is your decision with all of this. Dean's, as always, has a lot of direction in his in his score 
take what you need, make sure that you come up with your own phrases and your own interpretation. The only thing you really, really can't do with this piece is use uh, legato phrasing and slowing down. It's just, it's not acceptable in this section to slow down. <laughs> Thank you very much for staying until the end. The next video in this series on Deans is going to pop up now. So if you want to continue learning, please click on the link. Failing that, if you want more or something different, like Villa Lobos, like Brower, like Koshkin, head over to classicalguitarrocks.com today for some six string inspiration. Link below.